Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin, and we are heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Wanted to jump on real quick today because, as we all know, August 18th will be night one of Emergence, Impact Wrestling Emergence on Access TV in the U.S. and the Fight Network here in Canada. And what a card. We have a, an absolutely tremendous card for night one, and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit, uh, give a quick preview, and Give my predictions for night one of Emergence. And uh, not to worry, there is a dumb comment that I found uh, actually earlier today. And I'm going to discuss that briefly at the end as well. So let's get right into it. Night one, Impact Wrestling Emergence, August 18th. It's going to be the Motor City Machine Guns, the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions defending the titles against former champions the north and good gosh this is going to be an absolutely fantastic match the first match drew was just fantastic and this one is going to be just as good or if not even better uh both teams know each other a little bit better now they've been in the ring with each other um already as we as we know motor city machine guns defeated the north to um to win the world titles i can't wait for this one I cannot wait for this match. This is probably going to be the match that I'm looking forward to the most on on the whole show. And I'm going to go with my team, uh, the North. I'm thinking the North are going to regain. I'm I'm picking the North to regain. I, I I would love to see them get those titles back around their waist waist and and head for a showdown uh, with the Good Brothers uh, for the Impact Wrestling uh, Tag Team Titles. Motor City Machine Guns, great tag team, legendary tag team, Impact Wrestling slash TNA. Uh, mad respect for the Motor City Machine Guns and um, giving them the title back, um, giving them another short run. You know, was uh, was was cool, but I, I want to see the titles around the North. I want the titles back around the North. And on the flip side of that, if the Motor City Machine Guns retain, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be shocked or anything like that, but... I'm picking the North. I want my boys to North to win. And uh, that's the team I'm going with in that match. But but nonetheless, uh, we are in for a real, real treat uh, with this uh, world title, world tag team title championship match. Uh, this Tuesday, Impact Wrestling Emergence. Then we have the Good Brothers versus Ace Austin and Man Man Fulton. We all know who's going to win this match. We all know who's going to win this match. The Good Brothers, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, they're they're not going to lose this match. They are definitely going to win. But I think after the match is over and the Good Brothers have won, I think we're going to see members of um, more members of Ace Austin and uh, Mad Men Fulton's um, faction. I think the faction is going to grow a little bit. We might see a few more members. We could get an Aces and Eights reunion here, or maybe um, Ace Austin and Man Man Fulton are the new leaders of a- a- um, Aces and Eights. I always said Austin and Eights. Aces, Aces and Eights. That's not really a far-fetched idea. That's not really a far-fetched idea. I can see it happening. I, I really think that the, the faction is going to expand, uh, The Ace Austin and Madman Fulton. Uh, it's going to grow a little bit. I can see three or four members uh, of that group, and uh, the feud with the, the Good Brothers will continue. But, but bottom line, Good Brothers will win this match. Uh, but the feud between Good Brothers, Ace Austin, and Madman Fulton uh, it will definitely not be over. So that's what I'm predicting there. We have Eddie Edwards defending the world championship. So he's got that open challenge. And I was thinking, who who could it be? Who would uh, who would be answering this open challenge? I'm thinking this could be a, a great way to bring back Jake Crist. Because uh, we haven't seen Jake Crist in a while. He was Jacob Crist. Uh, he was joining, um, he was part of Cancel Culture with Joey Ryan. But uh, that's now down the tubes. As we all know, what happens with Joey Ryan? Uh, so I'm thinking it could be it could be Jay Chris. This would be a great way to bring Jay Chris back. He's not going to win. Uh, he's he's not going to win. Eddie Edwards is going to successfully defend the Impact World Championship uh, against whoever whoever the open challenger is, whoever accepts the open challenge. So I'm thinking it could be a um, I almost said Ace Austin again. It could be Jay Chris. Uh, I'm I'm looking at the name Ace Austin right on my screen. Uh, so Jay Chris. Uh, I'm thinking maybe Willie Mack. Willie Mack could be uh, the um, could answer uh, the open challenge, or I don't know what I don't know what Dogger is up to. Dogger is still on the Impact Wrestling um, 
a roster page. Uh, so maybe Daga, that would be a good way to bring Daga back because I know he's still on a contract. Uh, so I'm going to say Jake Christ, Daga, or Willie Mack will be the ones to answer uh, the Open Challenge. Uh, but nonetheless, whoever answers the Open Challenge is going to lose to Eddie Edwards. And I fully expect Eric Young to come out at the, at the conclusion of the match and attack Eddie Edwards and uh, try to take his leg out. Uh, but maybe Willie Mack will come out to make the save. Of course, if Willie Mack is part of the, in the match, Willie Mack will make the save. Uh, but even if he's not in the match, maybe I can see him coming out to make the save. But but nonetheless, whoever, whoever Eddie Edwards uh, faces, he's not losing the title at emergence. Uh, then we have Chris Bay versus TJP versus Rohit Raju for the X Division Championship. I like the way Rohit Raju kind of uh, weaseled his way into this uh, into this match uh, by saying, "If it's it's me and you, Chris, we we could band together and and make sure um, you know we take out TJP and uh, Falaba can't do anything because I'm I'm part of the match, so he can't really get involved." So I, I kind of like the way he did that, and I'm I'm thinking there this this is going to be a great match. By the way, this is going to be a terrific match, and I'm thinking I'm thinking that. Rohit Raju, his time is finally going to come. I think he's going to find a way to sneak out a victory and become the new X Division champion. That's 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 the gut feeling I have. That is the gut feeling I have that Rohit Raju has been playing this all along, uh, and he's going to uh, sneak out a victory here and uh, become the new X Division champion. So I'm picking Rohit Raju to be the new X Division Champion at Emergence. Then we have Moose defending the TNA World Championship against Trey Miguel. We all know who's going to win this one, Moose. But but we all know who's going to be in, who's also going to make his presence felt in this match, and that's EC3. Whether he's there live or whether he play they play a video during the match. EC3 is going to be above. It's it's it's. We all know that. We all know that EC3 is going to be there. I I would love to see him there in person. I know he was there once before and he took out Moose. I would like to see him actually show up and uh, get in Moose's face and let them have a um, a verbal confrontation. And I think that would be great. But um, nonetheless, Moose is going to uh, defeat Trey Miguel. This would be a good match. Trey Miguel is talented. Trey Miguel is talented, uh, but he's not going to defeat Moose. He's not going to defeat Moose. So Moose will win this match, but we will see EC3 as well. So running down my predictions again, I'm predicting the North to regain the World Tag Team Championships. The Good Brothers will defeat Ace Austin and Madman Fulton. Eddie Edwards will defeat whoever accepts the open challenge. And I'm picking Rohit Raju to uh, sneak out a victory and uh, become the new X Division champion. And Moose to go over on Trey Miguel. And only one match has been um, announced for night two, and that's Diona Perrazzo versus uh, Jordan Grace in a uh, 30 minutes uh, knockouts Iron Woman match. Uh, they call it an Iron Man match on the website, but it's an Iron Woman match uh, for the Knockouts Championship. And um, I, I, I'm not going to predict. I'm not going to make a prediction on that one yet because I'm not sure. So I'll I'll wait uh, for next week to make a prediction on that one when when, when I run down uh, the Night Two card. Uh, which will be uh, next Sunday. I'll do that. So, so those are my predictions for that. And before um, my predictions for night one. So, but before I go, there was a uh, a really dumb comment that I came across uh, this morning, and uh, I'm going to talk about it now, real quick. Uh, somebody had posted um, on the uh, Impact Wrestling Worldwide Facebook page that uh, TNA crossed the line. Uh, should become its own show. I think they said on Thursday nights they should have a, its own T, TNA show. You know, and I'm all for that. I, I've actually did a podcast on. You know, I'd love to see TNA getting its own show, um, a um, spinoff show of, of Impact Wrestling. Uh, but that's somebody. Some some guy responds by saying, "Yeah, but they still have no TV deal yet." Meaning Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling has no TV deal. Okay, what 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 rock is this guy living under? <laughs> What rock is this guy living under? Uh, if if anyone deserved a fish stick sandwich, it's this guy. 
is this guy. So, so he deserves a fish stick sandwich, 100%. See, this is the problem. This is the problem. People who aren't Impact Wrestling fans, r- trolls who, who keep knocking Impact Wrestling, I should say, they don't know what's going on. And they still, this guy still thinks that Impact Wrestling doesn't have a TV deal. I don't think Impact Wrestling, I think back in 2002, 2003, was the last time Impact Wrestling didn't have a, some sort of TV deal. So, so what's this guy talking about? What is this guy talking about? That still no TV deal. Of course they have a TV deal. Feed this guy a fish stick sandwich, man. (laughs) Feed this guy a fish stick sandwich. That's what he deserves. He's coming across no TV deal. This is just such a stupid comment by someone who just absolutely does not know what the hell they're talking about. Yeah, Impact Wrestling has no TV deal. Okay, somebody, somebody, better, somebody, better, somebody better get on the phone and and call Access TV and um and explain to them that uh, Impact Wrestling's not really on Access TV because they don't have a TV deal yet, according to this guy. Stupid comment. Anyway, anyway, everyone uh, enjoy Impact Wrestling Emergence. I can't wait for night one. It's going to be fantastic. So until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye.